What's up guys? It's Jesus 23 here and it's time for Thomas update number 9. First we're going to start off with the Golden Bear Thomas. And I have to give big thanks to a friend at school of mine named Dominic Ellery for landing this Thomas on me. Um, as many people in the Thomas collecting world know, these Golden Bears are very rare and hard to come across. And they're also kind of hard to find in this level of condition, which is pretty good condition. The only damage I could see is the eyebrows are missing. But anyway, I'm glad I got it. So thank you, Dominic. Next are two Thomas the Tank Engine whistles. You can tell they're whistles by the strangely shaped funnel they have. And they've got a blowhole at the back. And just to prove what these whistles sound like, here's a demonstration. So yeah. Next we have another Take and Play Thomas. Now you might be wondering, why do you keep buying Take and Play Thomases? Simple answer is that these are my favorite brand or style of Thomas the Tank Engine toys. Um, I'm still trying to get my hands on the new version of these, and I will keep searching until I find it. Next we have the new style of Wooden Thomas, with the CGI face, which kind of looks scary to me. I don't like that wooden railway face at all. So, I have heard that the new version that Fisher Price and Mattel do is a bit better than the one that Tommy has done on this one. But I'll have to wait. Maybe J. Maybe J. Louvier knows a bit more about that. Next, we have another pull and zoom. I mean, pullback racer Thomas. I featured one of these in my eighth Thomas update video, but this is the first edition, first release version. It's got that splash of white, whereas the other one doesn't, and it's got a better classic face. Next, we have the. Take and play Thomas again, but this one is in its packaging and it won't be being taken out either. Next along, we have another take and play, but this one is the talking one. Now, some of you may wonder why do you keep buying Thomas maybe double ups of them? Well, simple fact is, I'm trying to build up to New Zealand's biggest Thomas collection, and well. I'm getting there. And finally, oh, second to lastly, we have the Go Go Thomas DVD. It's the season 16 release. Meet Stafford, and he is one of my favourite CGI characters. And lastly, but not least, I'm going to have to go over to the other side of my room because this next item was a little big to fit on my little display table. And it is the Thomas the Tank Engine Pillow Pet. So, there's his face, obviously CGI, and there's a strap underneath. And if I'm totally ripping off Leo video here, no offense to Leo video, he's awesome. Ever wondered what Thomas the Tank looked like if he got run over by a tank? Well, there it is. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And Dieselmix123. Signing out. Thanks for watching.